All right, back here at round two of this uh, Innistrad 8-4 draft queue, and we're still pretty good at rolling dice. We'll play first. The Moto gods are smiling upon us. Except when they give but us these But now hands. they are frowning upon us. This is a very risky keep. <laughs> and we are not going to keep. Are you feeling lucky? Nope. I'm feeling lucky with this one. Yeah, slightly better. A little bit awkward, but... All right. Planes. Yeah, it was plain to see which land to put down first. Good one. Yes. We can, uh, if we draw planes, we can ride our way to victory. And yeah, uh, and all our viewers will be able to spectate our victory. Uh, it doesn't look like we're gonna get that. So I guess we we'll play flail here. Yeah, I guess we'll, for now we'll just flail around. All right, that's enough. <laughs> Have we gone too far? Yeah, you know, like a, the winners from the first round of the two people I saw, they were both white and blue. Because mm -hmm. um, oh, we did see some good cards coming around. Yeah, there were some really uh, deep blue packs. There we All go. All right. I don't think we're going to suit him up, though, because then the Traveler can kill us. Yeah. Well, unless he attacks him, Traveler, which he probably won't do. Scat. Well, Angelic Overseer. That's good to see in the graveyard. And Sturmgeist? That's also good I mean, to see in the graveyard. I mean, we're clearly good at milling as well. <laughs> Our talents include mulganing, rolling die, and milling. Alright, so here just attacking for two. Yep, seems like the play. Yeah, I'll probably just attack back for two. Or, I don't know, he's probably just gonna block and get a spirit. <laughs> or not. Yeah, just land go, I guess. Hopefully we can draw a grasp or something. Yeah, it's not worth bonding the scab. Can't bond anything else. No, oh, bringing the beats. Well, at least he's not doing anything. I smell rebuke. Yep, I guess we just attack again. Nothing else to do. Nope. Decided to block this time. And we say go. I'm guessing he's probably uh, held up on the double blue. Oh, attacking with both. Unruly mod. Hey, there you go. Finally get some action. Hmm, that's that's some pretty sweet action, also. Yeah, because you know what I think. We put this down, and next turn we flail it, and then bonds of faith the spirit. That sounds like a fantastic play, and then we smack for ten. All right, here. We'll gladly run this into the mob. And let's see, yeah, white blue doesn't really have a removal for this guy. Yeah, and at this point, I would even use his, uh, his evasion ability if he gets rebuked during anything. Yeah, I think that's a smart play. Yeah, because uh, we definitely need the creatures. We could uh, mill Silent Departure or... Grasp of Phantoms, too. We're actually uh, yeah. almost in range to cast that. Shit. Well, sad times. Uh... Oh, 
Oh, yeah, at least he's bringing everybody. <laughs> kind of weird because we're well, he might have something to cast because we're just gonna attack back before. Um, he could have that midnight haunting that we saw, but yeah, that's three mana though. Can't even cast it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. smack back for four. Yeah, the only the only downside to this, I guess, is um, if then he leaves one person back, we can't unequip it. True, but I still think it's the, yeah. the play though. Wonder if we should have uh, held back that mirror match for one return for a uh, backup mana. Um, it's possible. Um, we didn't see a smite from him in the replay, so. Yeah. Uh, yep. Nothing. Still nothing I can bond. Anything worth bonding? Yeah. You guys double blue. Oh, now he's holding back the. Oh no. Well, hopefully he plays something I can bond with faith. Mm -hmm. Hopefully something double blue. That or works too. Hopefully anything. Okay. Yeah, I don't even want to claustrophobia any of these. Yeah. Yes. He's probably gonna rebuke that. Yeah, or midnight haunting now. But but you know, we'll see. Okay. Yeah, haunting or rebuke. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we could smell it a mile away, so I guess. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, might as well play this for uh, Grass of Phantasms. So we're on a four turn clock. Mm -hmm. Sure. That's not what I want to see. This is getting pretty hairy. I think. Um, will we claustrophobia this Delver? Because um, if he does, yeah, flip, if he does flip, the yeah, we pretty much lose. So. And as much as I hate to say it, but we we probably have to claustrophobia the the spirit token. I mean the bonds yeah, the of fate, the spirit token. Would you do it this turn? Um, yeah, it'll save a damage. Yeah, that's true. And then three, two, two. One, two, three. Yeah, I guess might as well. I think that ranks up for the worst claustrophobia target and bond of their target. Maybe we can um, grasp his scat and he'll mill himself to death by casting it. A solid plan. <laughs> These mobs are pretty terrible when I can't kill anything. Yeah. But oh. Yeah, that's a big game, I guess. Yeah. Still not super dead if we draw a grasp. That I will go to one life, and then in which we can draw a silent departure. Yeah, I guess uh, we'll just do this and see what he does. I wish you player land. Okay. Yeah, losing that uh, mirror mat is a really big blow. Mm -hmm. Look out, we're untapping our own cards. Wake up, everyone. Oh, wait, there's no one to wake up. So, our out <laughs> is. There you go. Pretty much dead. Alright, that'll he, do. He it. has the answer. Alright. Well then. Uh. You, you want to side out the pure bloods for the crab again, since uh, all these guys are small. Yeah, I think so. That seems fine. 
Yeah, I mean, nothing else here. Uh, one Eyed Scarecrow. Actually, yeah, I would definitely side this in. Um, yeah, I think that uh, over the the crab. Okay, no crabs tonight. I already have enough crabs. That's good. Yeah, so I guess that's pretty much it. We'll submit, see what happens. Let's see. Well, all right. I would like to play first. What is this? Why do we always get these hands? Yeah, this is uh, this is awful. Yeah, I think it's karma for the last video where every, all of our opponents just kept mulling. Yeah, I guess so. Well, we gotta throw this one back. <laughs> this is this one also awkward better. For, for different reasons. Jeez, this is uh, some luck we're having. Yeah, such as Moto. As our first round, Napoleon complained when he got man flooded game three. True. Great. Alright, we'll uh, hold up mana leak. We definitely have it. Oh, the positive thing is that guy has nothing. Alright. Ooh. Secret tech. Bell ringer torch action. I uh, probably should have played out the blue. Oh well. Okay. Looks like he's all like five drops. Yeah. Uh, equip torch attack. Yep. Pretty sure he's Savage not. Beats. Yeah, he's pretty sure he's not gonna waste a rebuke on this. Maybe he has a bunch of double white too. Um, <laughs> bonds of faith for a bell ringer. Probably, probably not a good idea. No. Let's continue with our one creature beats. Sturmgeist. Yep. That's a 6-6 six, six Sturmgeist. Well, it's going to be pretty faithful. Uh, I can safely say that I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Yeah. Continue the beats. Yeah. Cackling counterpart on this would be kind of stupid. Though, I don't know. How many creatures do we have? 13? Mm -hmm. 12, so... Give us like a forty percent chance to draw a creature. And we're approaching a uh, doubling double counterpart action. So if we draw one good creature, that's pretty good. So, sure. Nothing wicked in our deck. And so I guess we'll keep back a uh, bell ringer. He can uh, block torch or whatever. Um, I don't think we're gonna do that. Yeah, at this point, I just say, just go, right? Yeah. Because even if the, this guy flips to a three-two, then we just block the Slayer and torch the Delver. <laughs> or you know, we could actually cackling counterpart the Bell Ringer and double block the Slayer. That is true. Um, I don't think that's worth it. I think we could just torch it. It's not that big of a difference. Yeah. Well, if we use a torch on the Delver, if he flips. Wait, why did he reveal a Doom Traveler? No idea. I guess he's playing it anyway, it doesn't matter. Would you torch anything right now? Um, only if he attacks. Yeah, he just ended his turn. Okay, so I guess... Let's go... Here we go. Find some action. There we go. Uh, 
and say OK. Oh, something big is coming. Oh, there it is. Hex, oh. hex proof and indestructible. It's not so good. Let's see. Because we would. Can, uh, yeah, he has triple humans. Um, but what we can do, um, if at the end of turn we uh, torch the Slayer. Yeah. And then so we can double silent departure, but then we don't have enough mana to do anything else. Let's see if he attacks. That would actually help us. Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay. So, Torch the Slayer? Yeah. And this is... Hexproof. Yeah, that card's a pretty big game. Wait, actually, I wonder... It looks like it doesn't have the blue Hexproof text. I wonder if that's a moto bug. Uh, try to bounce it. Yeah, I mean... Okay, never mind. The plug is just in the display. Yeah, because he's just going to be attacking in with this thing every turn. Yeah. Should uh, play the... Play the land. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we can do this turn. Yeah, well, he could attack in with the Overseer, and then we can counterpart the Gallows Warden, and then have a huge Gallows Warden, I guess. Yeah, the, I think the only thing we could do is try to outrace him in the air, maybe. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, none of our bounce is at instant speed. Chapelgeist. All right, so let's go ahead and counterpart the Gal's Warden. Mm -hmm. But now he does have a blocker. Yeah. Still, Life Scholar is not the worst. Nope. Um, although, I think uh, counterparting again the Gal's Warden will be good. Okay, so we can just do that on his turn for. Yeah, we have exactly seven. Yeah, so I, I just say beat in with the wardens right now. Yeah, let's see if he has a rebuke. Nope. All right. Well, now he has the rebuke. But, oh, what? It's still a human? That's stupid. It is still a human. Uh, yeah, because if he attacks, we can counterpart. Yeah, ward it uh, and Bell block Ringer. the insect if he attacks with it. Yeah. So. Well, yeah, he's running into it. Okay. No, 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 no! The bell ringer, the bell ringer, the bell ringer. Oh, okay, my bad. But. I mean, that would let us kill two of these. And then we bounce the, then we bounce the Traveler and then um, Claustrophobia the Angelic Overseer. Oh yeah, you're right, sorry, I was just thinking, because if, if we did it the other way, we would just have, we kill one of these, 
Mm -hmm. I mean, the chapel guys would live, but we could still bounce this and kill it. And next turn, we would have three wardens. Hmm. I guess that's a fine play. Too. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too worried about the guys at this point. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, he does have a rebuke too. So. Watch, well, she's gonna play another human. Yep. Yeah, but he's careful. Probably gonna exile one of my tokens. Yep. Hmm. Because, let's see, we have. Sun of Departure, double bounce, it costs six, three, four, five, six. Yeah. yeah. And we're one mana short. Let's see, five, six. Next turn, he can do seven. Seven damage. Claustrophobia. We can cast all three of our spells and try to race them in the air. He can just leave back the overseer. Yeah. Well, and, but then that at least stops him from attacking us. Because uh, when we attack this turn, he'll be down to um, five. So let's do that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, actually, you know what? He has rebuke. Never mind. Yeah, he does. Never mind. So I say I definitely want to get the scholar out. I don't know. This is a tough spot. Yeah. Or just hope we draw a land next turn. So right here, maybe, may just, maybe just cast Civilized Scholar and say go. Yeah. yeah. And then he also has to not cast a human next turn. Overseer is pretty good. Okay. He has his own silent huh? departure. Yeah, that's. And then he silent departures another guy. Yep. And that's five, six, seven. Still not enough to kill us. Oh, okay. Okay, so he's only attacking him with uh, Overseer. Alright. So I guess we just take uh, it. Mm -hmm. yeah, Moment of Heroism would only make that 7. And another Chapel, guys. Not looking good. Nope. <laughs> makeshift mauler. So, um, I guess we just loot the mauler away. Yeah, and then go big. Okay, now we have enough mana to handle the overseer. Because we can bounce. Well, the thing is about bouncing Fiend Hunter is um, it's just going to come back and exile something. Yeah, I think we're pretty much screwed. Yeah, this doesn't look good. Alright, let's go ahead and play it out, because let's see, bounce that, bounce that, cause for be like Overseer, then he has two Chapel Guys and a bounce next turn. Yeah, no good.
Well, let's just see what happens. Let's bounce that. Yep. I was gonna play it out. Yeah, he even has a rebuke mana too. Oh well. Yep. Well, an unfortunate turn of events, but can't win them all. Yeah, true. We'll get our token. Yeah, tough way to go. Angelic Overseer is quite the beating. Yep. On the plus side, we got two Mythics. <laughs> Just like last time. Yes. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes magic happens. Can't win them all. But uh, I think we uh, drafted fairly well. Yep. So sometimes, you know, you don't get the, the ideal hands and you lose. Alright, so uh, that's all for this time. Uh, thanks for uh, watching, and uh, please uh, like and subscribe. See you next time.